What is up everybody? I have spent some time in the last few years exploring some of the Spanish Canary Islands and now it's time for me to share my 10 favorite places on Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, La Palma and La Tarote. So still a few islands yet to be discovered. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay in touch for future videos. The Canary Islands are home to many great traditional villages and towns. So let's start out with a trip to one of my favorite islands, La Palma. Here you will find Santa Cruz de La Palma and Los Llanos. Both are historical towns with Santa Cruz offering slightly more highlights, but also more tourists. Take your pick, both are fantastic for walking, shopping and enjoying an espresso while watching the people go by. For number 9 we will head east, where a natural wonder is awaiting us. Coralejo Sand Dunes is the biggest dunes on the Canary Islands, almost rivaled by Maspalomas in Gran Canaria. The natural park stretches around 12 kilometers from north to south, and the sand found is unique to Fuerteventura. It contains biogenic grains of local marine origin. Contrary to the belief that the sand comes all the way from the Sahara, the beach is great for water sports and swimming, depending on the day and the weather. Now it's time to go to Gran Canaria. Puerto de Mogán is located on Gran Canaria's southwestern coast. The town and harbor is known as Little Venice. This picturesque traditional fishing village is popular among tourists who come to visit for day tours. Once a week, I believe Fridays, Mogán will host a popular market. Playa Mogán or Mogán Beach is also known as one of the best beaches on the island, so definitely a must go if you're in Gran Canaria. Now it's time to visit the last island of the four islands I have visited, which is Lanzarote. It's no other than Timon Fire National Park. Located in the southwestern part of Lanzarote, Timon Fire stretches out more than 50 square kilometers. The entire park is made up of volcanic soil, and the volcano named Timon Fire is still active till this date. For number six, we will head back to the island of La Palma and we'll head into, more specifically, the mountains of La Palma. Rope de los Muchachos awaits us at an altitude of 2426 meters. Not only do we have stunning views into La Caldera de Taburiente, you also have the views towards some of the biggest telescopes in the world. Observatorio del Rope de los Muchachos. The altitude and the dryness of the mountainous climate offers perfect conditions for observing into space. Now we are halfway through this list and it's time to put on the hiking boots. We are going to Pico de las Nieves. Pico de las Nieves is the highest peak of Gran Canaria, standing 949 meters tall in the central part of the island of Gran Canaria. Hiking in the Pico de las Nieves area can be done from several starting areas. My hiking route was approximately 8 kilometers long and could take anywhere from 2 hours to 3.5 hours depending on your speed. For number 4, Ahui will take us back to Fuerteventura and the origins of the Canary Islands. Ahui is a small fishing village and it's hiding one of Canary Islands' best kept secrets, Cuevas de Ahui. The information and foundation of Fuerteventura and these caves started around 70 million years ago. The International Geological Union acknowledges Ahui as one of the 150 most interesting places in the world. Another volcanic mystery of the Canary Islands is Jameos del Aqua and probably my favorite place on Lanzarote. This is a place where mankind and nature intermix in colors of white, blue, green and black. The cave and lagoon is home to blind crabs that are incredibly small. Jameos del Aqua is an art, culture and tourism center created by Cesar Manrique. One of the best parts of the Canary Island is its historical old towns. Definitely for me, I love going to all of these old towns and no island can quite compare with the sheer amount of beautiful old towns or for in Gran Canaria. You will have to come back several times to visit all of them. Personally, I recommend Vigueta Old Town. It's uh, quite convenient, especially for day tripping and you can quickly get to Las Canteras Beach. 
or the main shopping street and area of Las Palmas, the capital. Other worthwhile places to visit are definitely Arucas, Viergas and Tiroir. They all offer great historical architecture, towns, squares, cafes and churches. I especially fell in love with the San Juan Bautista Church, which is this intense, dramatic and beautiful church in central Arucas. Definitely a must-see place. Finding a favorite place in the Canary Island is almost impossible, and everyone is going to have their own favorite place for whatever reason. But I had to pick Los Tilos on La Palma. For me, it is by far the most unique experience. I personally had on any of the islands. It's not better, but it's just different, especially with the humidity, intense green colors, and wet, woody, foresty smells. This place is hard to justify with just video and picture. You'll have to come here on your own to understand what I mean. Oh, and there is a beautiful waterfall. We all love waterfalls, right? This was my personal top 10 list, and it was all from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I hope I will see you later. Thank you and goodbye.